Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. It's another uh, cold December day here in Jerusalem. I'm just on the Sherover uh, promenade overlooking the city of Jerusalem. Amazing place today. Some exercise. I'm going to go today for a walk down into Abu Tor, which is one of the mixed Arabic and Jewish neighborhoods in the city. One of very few of them. It's actually mixed um, mostly in the area as you kind of go into it just by Derek Hebron, which means in English Hebron Road. And then as you go deeper in, it becomes a mostly Palestinian Arabic neighborhood as you go down the hill so I'm going to walk into there for a few minutes uh, just to give anyone curious an idea for what it looks like inside going to check out the Sherever Promenade and also the Feel Bet uh, which is a uh, really interesting uh, venue here in Abu Tor. Thank you for watching if you want to get more videos or you have any recommendations for places I should check out in Jerusalem please leave me a comment and subscribe thanks for watching. <laughs> walking here into uh, Abu Tor. Abu Tor is one of the mixed neighborhoods in Jerusalem. It is called in Hebrew Givat Hanania, which is why you'll see signs in the same area for both Givat Hanania and Abu Tor. So Abu Tor is partially mixed and then in other parts it is uh, more or less fully Arab. Sometimes there are clashes here. I'm using for the first time today the footpath navigation app which I'm uh, Super excited to be finally trying. So here is Yes Planet, and we're now walking down. Hopefully, you haven't already gone off course. Maybe we have. There's actually next to Yes Planet up here, there's a really cool place called Feel Bet. It's a sort of coexistence style bar. Um, they have events on Wednesdays, Thursdays. You can see off in the hill there, there's a UN flag flying. That is the United Nations compound where UNSO is located and various other UN missions. UNSO stands for United Nations Treaty Supervision Organization. You also have here UNDOF, UNIFIL and UNFIL. These are all actually technically all different missions. I used to know a guy here serving with the Irish Army which was quite cool. I met him through an Irish Embassy event and uh, he very graciously took my now wife and I up to a tour uh, but usually can't get into government house it's close to the public uh, so that is what is just up there a little bit can't go very far in Jerusalem without seeing stray Jerusalem cats it's just kind of part of the scenery here and this where we're going back up towards to do a loop round this is in the direction of Derek Hebron which means in English Hebron Road and there's a road running parallel to it called uh, Derek Beit Lechem which uh, means Bethlehem Road Bethlehem in Hebrew is uh, Beit Lechem, which means the house of bread. And in Arabic, it's uh, Beit Lechem, which means the house of meat. So there's a small tidbit. So I'm just going to go up now here and do a loop. And we'll go down into Abu Tor. So this road here should be somewhat back on route here. Uh, going down... Naomi Street into Abu Tor. And this is a mixed neighborhood in Jerusalem uh, that is partially Jewish and partially uh, partially mixed Arabic and Jewish and then it's partially just Arabic and you can actually see if you're attuned to the local environment, you can see there's a Mashiach flag there, a yellow flag, so that's certainly a Jewish house. And then uh, the architecture is a little bit different as well. But as we go deeper down, we'll be able to see more, get a uh, better sense for what the demographics are here. And there's some really, really amazing views. So this is the Sherova Promenade, which I did a video of before. And as you can see here, it's like totally empty. This is really actually an underutilized uh, a public outdoor resource in my opinion in Jerusalem so this little path here you're seeing in front of me that'll actually loop all the way around to the Tayelet which is much better known some people don't know that it actually continues down uh, here and what's interesting about this area as well hopefully won't fall off this uh, rocky crevice is uh, that there's a little forest at the bottom here and there's also a monastery so just up the top of that hill there is where Yes Planet's located this is a uh, cinema complex it's open on saturday so during the weekday not so much going on 
uh, but if you come up here on the weekend you'll see lots of people because there are Jerusalem is not exclusively religious so you can see here there's a sign in uh, in Arabic and there's an Abu Tor sign so we're coming down into here now and uh, these in Jerusalem these are like the official signs you see the blue and uh, white sign here these are the official signs to tell you when you're coming into a neighborhood so now we know we're coming into the official demarcated Abu Tor um, sign here about the forest area we'll just keep walking down a little bit and we'll see what we will find and this is really interesting I want to stop here for a second and show you guys this view if you ever wonder how close Jerusalem is to the desert you can see that on a map I think I calculated the distance as like from this point eight kilometers so what you can see here in the distance well you can see someone's uh, patio you can see the separation barrier and I'm gonna do a walk out there soon um, those you can see a minaret of a mosque on the other side of the separation barrier you can see some tall buildings again on the other side those would be in Abu Dis and um, I'm just gonna point with my finger in case it's not visible just in the center there you can see desert so it's literally Jerusalem is eight kilometers um, or thereabouts from the Judean desert the city doesn't extend quite to the desert but you don't have to drive very far out towards the Dead Sea uh, in order to get there so it's really almost slap bang on the desert it's a desert town almost so we're just going into Abu Tor here and you can see that uh, green sign in the distance is for Klalit so Klalit is one of the four health companies in Israel the Kupot Cholim, the health funds and they exist in East Jerusalem but that sign says Klalit in Arabic so this is kind of uh, if you spend time on the ground in Jerusalem you kind of just come to know when you're in Arabic neighborhoods and mixed neighborhoods and Jewish neighborhoods one of the features of the Arabic neighborhoods is the dude they tend to be in black so we're just coming here now uh, down the road a little bit and uh, this is I guess this is uh, Hamakafad Street this is the uh, local Khalid clinic in Abu Tor and we're just descending down the hill here and we can see in the distance uh, the hills so I'm gonna stop and take some photos and you can see now we're in the Arabic part of Abu Tor so everything is uh, pretty much in Arabic so it's incredible how close in Jerusalem these communities are you have strictly Orthodox Jews living literally uh, you know 100 meters up the road from devout Muslims you can see there is Muslims here in the streets uh, sometimes is a scene of uh, clashes between uh, the Arabic residents here and Jewish residents but usually it's pretty uh, pretty quiet I don't think there's a whole lot of stuff down here there are other places like Wadi Al Joes where people um, go into more there's the more famous I don't think Abu Tor itself is particularly well known but we'll just go a little further to see what's down here on the road this is here uh, Al Hara Il Sharqiya and there's a uh, playground here I'm gonna see if we can see some more views looking down the mountain top the Jerusalem municipality has been accused frequently of under under investing in East Jerusalem um, so this area doesn't look so bad but definitely there's sort of this invisible barrier almost between west and east when you start going into East Jerusalem properly deep in that I'll be doing soon you really start to notice a kind of disparity in terms of rubbish collection you can see there's just some garbage strewn across here um, and that is a complicated dynamic because of the fact that sometimes when the Jerusalem municipality attempts to render services here they are met with violent resistance so it's not such a clean cut issue and it is a uh, reflection of the fact that this is a city basically contested by two different people uh, so this is a mosque you can see that's the minaret of the mosque here so um, at night time in East Jerusalem it's all um, dotted with green lights around the mosques um, so when you're looking at night time over this neighborhood uh, more stuff here coming up 